And we have with us today our senior software developer, uh, Yuri Gedekevich, to do a quick demonstration of some of the images that were captured on JEI cameras, uh, bringing them up in Image Pro and, and showing you some color analysis. All right. Uh, so I'm showing <coughs> Image Pro uh, with a couple of images captured with uh, JEI cameras. We have a couple of cameras in our office and uh, Framex Travic took uh, several images to demonstrate the advantages of uh, prism cameras. So uh, this is a color checker that shows 24 color patches and one of the ways to show uh, good color and noise ratios is to look at the uh, single patch area and check uh, standard deviation of color components. As you can see on this image, the <coughs> histograms of every channel are very narrow with small deviation, which shows that the noise level on color patches is very low. Another way to check noise level and sharpness of the color edges is to use line profile. If we put line profile along the uh, chart, we can look at the uh, edges. As you can see on line profile, we have very sharp edges, and we can even emphasize it with uh, showing the weighted profile. So this is a deviation curve uh, of the intensity and as you can see uh, we have uh, very well defined edges which this size of uh, around one pixel we can even apply some uh, Sobel filters so we can see exactly that the, the edges are very narrow and have uh, around one pixel uh, size that proves that uh, Prism cameras have very high spatial resolution, spatial color resolution, and where it's important, uh, these cameras should be used. And uh, another point of uh, using such cameras is to uh, do color measurements. Uh, Image Pro has several tools which allows doing color measurements in LAB, uh, XYZ color spaces. And the main um, starting point for color measurements is the color calibration. So what we can also do, we can use uh, standard color checkers generated programmatically for colors corresponding to sRGB color profile and D65 illuminant. And we can use uh, our color correction uh, functionality to generate, uh, create a color pattern for reference points we do it for the color reference image we have 24 color patches 24 color points and we generate corresponding color pattern on the camera image of JEI prism camera and um, that is a way to convert colors from one profile to another and oh, from from any camera to the uh, reference color profile and uh, which allows us to use LAB color measurements uh, but yeah if we click correct colors, the colors will be transferred uh, using the 24-point uh, thin plane plane spline transform. But what I want to show is uh, the way how these colors are transformed. We can uh, look at the color space transformation using color cube. The color cube is a uh, three-dimensional object with red, green, and blue axis. 
and that shows how the input colors are transformed to output colors. So if we look at this color cube, uh, we see this uh, either lines which correspond to uh, red, green, or blue uh, planes. And uh, the uh, arrows inside show uh, how color on the original image is transferred to color on the output image. And as we can see, all the points, uh, uh, all the arrows uh, go uh, from the origin uh, to outside, which means that uh, to, normalize, to normalize colors of the camera, we just apply uh, brightness and contrast uh, type adjustments uh, without uh, color shifts. So GI cameras can be used to do the precise color measurements and that can be useful either uh, in light, uh, life uh, microscopy or in food industry and uh, printing industry or uh, yeah, anywhere color, color measurements are important. And on this, I want to conclude my presentation.